volcano triggered tsunami kills 43 in Indonesia. Injures 500 at least 43 people have been killed and over 500 others have been injured in a tsunami that hit Indonesia. Hundreds of homes and other buildings were heavily damaged in the natural disaster which struck on Saturday. The tsunami was likely caused by a combination of underwater landslides due to a volcanic eruption. Indonesia's meteorological, climatological and geological agency said, U.S. man jailed 17 years due to look-alike winds $1 million compensation a 42-year-old American has been awarded over $1 million in compensation after being wrongly jailed for 17 years for a robbery likely committed by his look-alike. Richard Anthony was freed this June after Ricky Amos was found in robbery victims couldn't differentiate between the two. Amos also denied the crime and was not tried due to the passage of time. Death toll rises to 168 in Indonesia tsunami death toll in the Indonesia tsunami that was caused by a volcanic eruption has risen to 168. Officials said, authorities warned residents and tourists in coastal areas around the Sunda Strait to stay away from beaches and a high tide warning has been issued. Officials added that rescue workers and ambulances were finding it difficult to reach affected areas. UN asks Twitter CEO about censorship of Kashmir-related content David K. UN Special Reporter on Freedom of Opinion and Expression has written to Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey asking him why the social media platform has been censoring Kashmir-related content. In his letter dated December 10, K wrote that India has expanded the scope of its censorship tools and efforts at the expense of individual rights to freedom of expression. After PAC released Indian Man, India to free PAC Man after 10 years Pakistani national Imran Wasi, who has been staying at a Bhopal police station for the last nine months after a 10-year jail term would be sent back to Pakistan on December 26. Wasi was convicted of conspiracy, cheating and forging documents. This comes after Indian national Hamid Ansari was released by Pakistan after spending six years in jail there.